I want to talk a little bit about TinyMCE and the image plugin and some of the problems that I had and how I ended up resolving them. When you, um, assuming you've already got the toolbar set up and inserting an image is available to you because you have the plugin installed, you'll get an option to come over here and browse for an image. Okay, I'm just going to pick any old image here. I'm going to shorten the name of that so it's easier to see on the tutorial. All right, now when I selected that, it automatically assigned the width and height and constrained proportions. And when I click OK, there it is. Now I can manually resize that and it will um, keep track of that. I can right justify it and you would think that would be fine, but in a responsive world, you can't have hard-coded anything. So uh, let's show you how I cured this. And it's also going to show you at the same time how we use multiple classes in this image plugin. So the first thing I did was you have to have the HTML or source code link on your toolbar. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. If you haven't got that turned on, you'll need to do that. I'm going to slide this over to the right so you can see everything more clearly. And right here, I'm going to create a space to make that more obvious, is our image tab tag. Now you see the width and height. I don't want width and height because I want this image to be responsive. But I do want to add some responsive classes that are going to determine how this image lays out. Okay, and I didn't make you watch me type this in, but there you have the classes that I've added, and these are responsive classes, which is to say at the highest resolution, make it 50% of the uh, container area, and the same thing at this res, and this res, and this, and then go to 75, 100, and 100. So it increases the size of the image as we go down in browser size. In this particular situation, I'm going to leave the style float, and that's it. Uh, I'll go ahead and pull these spaces that I created back out of there, and I'll just OK that. All right, now, one of the things that is very important, you'll notice that this image is, in fact, 50% of the container area. And the reason that worked is because the class has to be loaded. We're on the back end here of a WordPress site. The classes I'm using, in this case, the ZC, ZO, ZM, and all that stuff, it's loaded in a style sheet ready to go on the back end, so you have to be able to make that happen. And I also have it working on the front end, so on the front end we'll make sure we see the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now let's take a look at the front end of the site and refresh that page. Okay, and there's the container, and you can see the image takes up 50%. As I go down in browser size, the image grows to a larger percentage of the container until at the smallest size it equals a full 100% of the container. So you know that the responsive classes are working the way they're supposed to. So that's how you do it. I hope this has helped you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.